Hi, my name is Zia Barton, and this is Assignment 8, Protostomes, Clams. Uh, introduction to clams. Clams are common water creatures that can be found in many environments. They are edible to both humans and certain animals, and are relatively abundant in their chosen habitats. And on the right is a photograph of a clam. Names and breeds. Clams, as they are commonly known, have many names. Uh, the hard shell clam, aka Mercenaria mercenaria, um, can also be known as the northern, northern quahog, and the soft shell clam is also known as Maya ariana. Their natural habitats are freshwater, saltwater, wet and sandy areas, and the intertidal zone, which is pictured below. It's where the sand is moist for most of the day during both low and high tides. Food. Clams eat microscopic organisms, mainly phytoplankton, algae, and zooplankton. They use a filter feeding system that draws their food through a siphon. They suck in water and algae at the same time, or phytoplankton, and then spit out the water and keep the algae and phytoplankton inside. Their relationships to other organisms. Predators of clams are fish like carp, sunfish, and catfish, birds like eagles and seagulls, otters, raccoons, frogs, and muskrats. Their prey are plankton and microorganisms. They don't share any other vitally important relationships with other creatures. Their evolved traits include bilateral symmetry, having a complete gut, possessing an open circulatory system, and a chitinous shell. The tree of life placement. Clams are in the mollusca phylum under the protozoa branch of the protostome class. Other, other things in the mollusca are squid and things like snails and I don't think crabs, but stuff with shells. Here is a video of the way a clam moves. It opens and closes its top shell and its bottom shell and propels itself by spitting out water. The importance of clams. Clams are extremely important to the biodiversity of the ocean and the freshwater ecosystems that they live in. They're large consumers of phytoplankton and make up huge industry of human seafood. Without them, both ocean life and human life would be impacted greatly. Not to mention, clams also possess and produce the pearls, which makes up the human pearl industry and is a large factor in jewelry. So without clams, we wouldn't have pearls either. Here's my work cited. Thank you. Oh, and all photographs were under the common usage licensing. Thank you.